It's episode three. Let's go. Starting off with Joey. Joey did this piece on his wife. He just recently got his tattoo license in the state of Missouri. Big congratulations to you, Joey. That's awesome to hear. And Joey says what we are doing here on the channel for the industry is awesome. So thank you, Joey, and congratulations to you, man. Personally, I think this is a really cool tattoo, but let's dive in. So if we dive in here, guys, I mean, there's a lot to love about this. I really just enjoy the simplicity and clean work that's really here. If we go around the outside, we can see that these lines are nice and consistent. They make sense. The little thinner lines are in here. You know, they look good. There's different line weights, which is nice. The scam is done all right. There's just a lot of things done nice. This color is packed well. The nice little shadow bits are where they should be. A little shadowing back here. I also really like the color of the can. It's perfect color. Um, there's just things that I like about this. I like a clean tattoo, something that when you look at it, you know exactly what you're looking at. The colors are bright, they're solid. Are there things that we could do differently? Of course, but I think that would be personal to each one of us. Maybe some of us would like a little value in the green. Some of us would like this, some of us like that. It's all gonna come down to what we personally like. And for me, I love this piece, it's super cool. Congratulations, man, keep on rocking it. Our next piece is from Nick. Nick says, this piece is unfinished. However, this is my second only tattoo. Do you think I have decent enough skills to practice on myself or do I need to stay with fake skin? Okay, honestly, I think you need to go back to fake skin. Just taking a look at it before we even dive into it, I'm gonna go ahead and say, get back into some fake skin and maybe even some paper as well, but let's dive in. Right off the bat, man, it's, it's not even really there. I don't understand we have a big chunk area of black up here, a little area of black over here, this spot here in the eyes up there. I, I guess that's where you wanted to put the black, but I mean, even from a basic standpoint here, these lines, they don't start anywhere it should start here they should connect as well they should finish they should have a place this they should be consistent this is thick here thins off thin again super shaky we have blowouts over here blowouts up here again these lines are just they're, they're just not even there unfortunately i hate to say it this is, you're not ready for skin, or at least you need a lot more practice before you get into skin. Sometimes it could be hard things to say. I hate making these videos because I have to tell people the truth in a lot of ways. I have to let you know exactly what you need to do. That's why you sent it to me, okay? I try to be nice about it because I think that when we're learning, it, we can get broken down very quickly and give up. And I don't want anybody to give up, but it's a good question to ask. I'm glad you asked, should I go back to fake skin? Because I feel like you kind of knew your own answer. Also, if we come down here, the color packing just isn't there. It's not holding up. I would definitely say you are going just way too fast. You need to slow down. I say this a lot, but again, slow down, go backwards, get on some fake skin, get comfortable, see consistent lines on fake skin, pack some color consistently on fake skin, then move to skin. Don't assume that, well, skin is just easier than fake skin. I'm gonna skip that process and go straight to skin. I really don't think you should. There's a lot of fundamental things you learn from tattooing fake skin. Holding your machine, seeing what the different angles of holding your machine do, the speed at which you move. Sure, it's all gonna be a little different on fake skin, but I guarantee it's gonna help you before you get there. So thank you for sending this in, and I hope that you keep at it, but just maybe change the way you work at it. Our next piece is from somebody I don't know because they have no name. They're called One Thing Customs. They've been tattooing for three months and here is some of their work. And I have to say, after just taking a quick glance at it, not bad, I like it. But let's dive in and see what we can do. Okay, I will have to say there is a lot of things I really like about this piece. The line work is very nice and consistent. All these lines up through here have the same line weight. You come down over here and we also have some very nice, smooth lines. Very consistent, I like to see that. That's great to see. These uh, little bits over here, again, super consistent. Very nice line work. So absolutely hold your head high for just a few months. Your lines look really nice, especially considering just a few months. Now you definitely have some contrast in here. As you can see, we have these nice open areas next to this darker area here. What I would do maybe is maybe just make that peak right up there, just a little extra dark, which you kind of did right here. Nice, it's not bad. The problem is when you get down 
down here is where it gets a little bit confusing because I see there's a flower here, but this petal back here blends right in with the water back there along with this petal as well. So our values are a little bit too similar. Again, like we've talked about in our other videos, what you wanna do is actually before you tattoo this is figure out where can I put black because you need that black to really make a piece work. You could do it to where, I'm not saying you have to, all these petals could be just straight black and that would help hold it. Maybe it lightens up as they come up. Another thing would be maybe the water back here is darker at the bottom, at the base here so that it pushes the leaves forward, darken this, darken this, maybe really make the water dark. Whatever it is, there needs to be a little bit more contrast down here. And if you had that, just a little more contrast there, um, I think this would be perfect. I think I would absolutely love it. And that's just my personal opinion. But as a whole, after three months, keep at it. You're doing fantastic. I wish I knew your name. And I would say thank you for sending this in. But thank you for sending this in. Our next piece is from Amanda. This is Amanda's first attempt on skin. It was within the first few hours of her playing with her new tattoo machine. So Amanda, thank you for sending it in. I think we can definitely tell what it is, but let's dive in and get a closer look. Okay, here we go. Clearly this is a tiki guy. He's smoking some sort of a cigar. We got some smoke coming up and what have you. It's extremely legible. You know what you're looking at. However, once we zoom in a little bit is where it starts to fall apart. So as we get in here closer, we can see that these lines, while I guess we can say their thickness, I'll draw a line here, is somewhat consistent as you can see we have a thickness consistency but that's kind of where it stops there because we have way too much of a shake in every one of these lines shake maybe that's a start pick up go again oh start again here this is what is happening a lot of times I've seen this in a lot of the pieces you guys send in is that I don't know what's happening we're getting a little bit of a shake I will say that the ink seems to be in a consistent, the lines seem to again be somewhat consistent, they're just shaky, and in a lot of places we have some blowouts. It's hard to see exactly if we had a little bit more crisper of a photo, but you can see a little bit of that ink pooling underneath the skin, which lets you know that area has been blown out a little bit. Now you might be able to fix some of this and hide some of this in your shading, but at the end of the day, I definitely think you should just slow down, back up, go to some fake skin. You started doing this as soon as you got your machine and the lines just really need a lot of help. Clearly you put a stencil on, clearly you followed a stencil, so there's some good things happening, but unfortunately in this piece, I don't think you're ready to be on the skin. And if you are, again, do these things smaller. Smaller tattoos when practicing, it's gonna you're gonna appreciate it much more later on in life. So again, I mean, just go back to some fake skin. I think for just getting your machine and just jumping into skin, not bad, but that's not what we want to do. We definitely want to be practicing. We definitely want to make sure that we're giving ourselves the best chance we can. So when we hit the skin, well, we have the best chance of keeping it, having something we want to keep or having something nice, something that we want to show to people. So again, thank you for sending that in, Amanda. All right, our next piece is from Amber. Amber just recently got into tattooing. This is a piece she did on her calf. She thought tattooing would be much easier and she says she was very much wrong. It is much harder than she thought it was gonna be. So there are some things I like about it and there's some things I don't like. Let's dive in and have a look. So what I like about this, I know it's zoomed in pretty far, but what I like is that it's not a huge tattoo. It's not humongous, and what does that mean? That means you're not taking up a ton of space. You made mistakes, but it's not humongous. It's not your whole thigh, all right? We have definitely, like you, you already know, but there are blowouts everywhere, all over the place. But hey, look, there's still some positivity in this thing. What I do like is that all these lines are somewhat consistent in thickness, and that is a plus, so you have that going for you. However, your depth is off or a little too deep. Your hand is shaking as it's coming around through these different spots. Um, so again, in that regard, definitely need to go back, fake skin, practice, 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 get comfortable with that new machine you have, get comfortable moving, making lines. Now, again, what I appreciate about this is it's not humongous. I have it blown up on the screen here, but it's not humongous, which means, again, smart way to go. If you're gonna go crazy and just start tattooing yourself without a lot of practice, at least you did it small. While there are definitely some things that you can clearly see you need to work on, 
I hope that you do go back to some fake skin. I hope you do go back and practice a little bit and save some of that skin for when uh, you're feeling a little bit more ready. And I look forward to seeing that work when it's done. All right, guys. Well, I just want to say thank you again for sending all your work in. I am going through emails as I can, jumping around, trying to find some stuff to bring you that I think will absolutely help you. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, ring the bell to get notifications when we post. And until next time, peace.